Congratulations, Sarah Jane. You've Upton Springs has just won the three mile five furlong ladies race here at um, Dunthrop, the Arga ladies race. Can you tell us how the race unraveled for you from the start, please? Um, well, it went it went well. It went as planned, really. We wanted to make the running. She she jumped off well in front, jumped superb. Somebody came alongside me. I think it was um, whistling straights early on, and I had to just keep niggling to keep her at the front. But it it all went very well, really. She jumped super. So it all you can always keep your position well if you're jumping. So and then second circuit, I got the front, so I just decided to kick on and make a real test of it because stamina's her thing. We've got no turn of foot, just plenty of stamina. Now, this is the course and distance winner. It's, it's a specialist horse. Um, is it good enough to go to Cheltenham and win the Arga Ladies final? Um, I'd, I'd definitely like to think so. I mean, she could have won it last year, but we were beat by a very good horse in Billy Vodden, and Jane gave him a super ride. But she did duck for the tapes to go around the course again, so we did lose a few lengths there and quite a lot of momentum. So we'll go and have it a good crack. But Cheltenham suits her down to the ground, the trip would suit. And, Everything really. I mean, if not, she'd be heading for the four miler at Cheltenham. But I'd rather go for the lady, the Arga Ladies race, because um, the Arga series is is what we're sort of get targeting this year. Okay. Now you've this horse is 11 now, I think. Um, how how long have you owned it or been involved with it? All her life. Fold, fold her down out in the field. Done everything with her. Broke her in. Done everything with her. Like I said, won her maiden on her. Handed her to the boys for a year or two because I thought it was the right thing to do. But then. I took the ride back and I've been enjoying Ladies Open with her since. But she's, she's quite small. She's only about 15 too, so we had to get the weight off her back when she started winning, really. Um, uh, how, how, how many um, pointer points has the horse won now? That's her ninth win, I think, which I'm pleased about because I wanted to beat her stablemate Upton Legend who won eight. So I'm quite... And, and where, what, which courses did she win at? She's won... Oh, no, well, she's obviously won here twice. She's won at Bitterly, she's won at, at Garnons, a lot of the local, the area, Welsh Borders area courses, because obviously that's our area. Um, she won her maiden at Upton on Seven, and she won a restricted at Howick. And what do you do through the week? Have you got a full-time job doing something? Full-time job training point to pointers, 20 in the yard. So the yard's it's flying along, it's going really well. And we're, we're, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get 50 winners trained, so that's my goal, and we're up to 40-something. And um, you have a lot of guys riding for you. How do, how do they take to having a lady trainer telling them what to do? Oh, they're all good. Um, my partner, Jeremy Maho, he, he's my chief jockey, really. He does all the schooling and all that. I do a bit, but not as much now. And I've got Richie Morse walking for me, who's a keen novice. He's a good lad, too. But they're, they're very good. They're very good. But there's only really four or five of us riding out because myself and Jeremy still do the main of the riding. Um, and then we've got a lot of auxiliary staff, sports staff, doing all the other bits and pieces. Okay, and lastly, what sort of uh, facilities have you got for training? Have you got all weather, weather, weather gallop and stuff? No weather facilities at all. We've got um, the owner of this one, actually, Peter Corbett's got the most fantastic banks with all, proper old turf, never been cultivated on at all, so it's beautiful for going up. And they're stiff half-mile banks, and I've got a selection of them, not just one. And we can go all around the cornfields for miles and miles and miles, hundreds of acres to run around on. So quite good facilities like that, but no all weather facilities. Well done, Sarah Jane. Thanks so much for talking to us today and good luck for the rest of the season.